today. Um, well, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, we'll begin with hymn number 16, hymn 1 6. 16. the order of service on the front of your bulletin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart, and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou, thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. O oh, Almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor miserable sinner, confess unto thee all my sins and iniquities, with which I have ever offended thee, and justly deserve thy temporal and eternal punishment. But I am heartily sorry for them, and sincerely repent of them. And I pray thee of thy boundless mercy, and for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death of thy beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to be gracious and merciful to me, a poor sinful being. 
Upon this your confession, I, by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of the word, announce the grace of God to you, and in the stead and by the command of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. The Lord was my support. He also brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. We sing together hymn 237. Hymn 237.
Lord God, Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you that through your holy word, you have called us to your great supper. And we beseech you, enliven our hearts by your Holy Spirit, that we may not hear your word without fruit, but that we may prepare ourselves rightly for your kingdom, and not allow ourselves to be hindered by any worldly care. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one true God, world without end. Amen. Amen. The epistle lesson for this, uh, the second Sunday after Trinity, is from John's first letter, the third chapter. He writes, Do not marvel, my brethren, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding, abiding in him. By this we know love, because he laid down his life for us. And we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoever has this world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him, how does the love of God abide in him? My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Here in the, the epistle. The Holy, the Holy Gospel for this Sunday is from Luke's Gospel, the 14th chapter, the parable of the Great Supper. It'll also be the focus of our sermon this morning. Then the Lord Jesus said to him, A certain man gave a great supper and invited many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to those who were invited, Come, for all things are now ready. But they all with one accord began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must go and see it. I ask you to have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I am going to test them. I ask you to have me excused. Still another said, I've married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in here the poor and the maimed and the lame and the blind. And the servant said, Master, it is done as you commanded, and there is still room. Then the master said to the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say to you that none of those men who were invited shall taste my supper. Here in the Gospel. We pray together the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell, the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our next hymn is hymn 386, hymn 386.
Friend of sin. 